Uh, welcome to Truly Wicked Crafts Floss Tube. I'm Ava, I'm known as Truly Wicked Crafts here on Etsy, on Tumblr, and on Instagram. Truly Wicked of Y over on Twitter, and tru just Truly Wicked on Ravelry. So if you want to check me out on Ravelry, I also float around there. Uh, hi again to my returning viewers and subscribers, and holy moly people! What? I've, I've reached over 100 subscribers. I, that blew my mind. Like, there's 100 people who actually want to see me? What? Yeah. My brain went out into the, my, my brain went out the window and, and took a nice flight around the neighborhood. So thank you for subscribing. Uh, if you're a new viewer, if this just popped up in your recommendations and you're going, who is this weirdo? Nice to meet you. Thank you for checking me out. And I do highly recommend like going and watching the first, my first video, just in case, because I kind of lay out a little bit of what people can expect from me in that one. Just so you have fair warning. I have a thank I have a specific thank you for Christine of Stitch All the Things. She gave me a shout out on her channel and I know and a few people have told me, "Hey, I found you through Christine." So, thank you Christine. I appreciate it. If anyone else has shouted me out, please please let me know so I can thank them and go watch the video they shout me out and then see if maybe I discover a new floss tuber. I enjoy watching so, it's been a couple weeks. Nothing, nothing earth shattering has happened. Well, it's been two weeks and a few days. Usually, it is Friday, May 11th. I need to remember to, to say what date it is, even though I usually try to post the video I record on the day I record it. But I know things happen. <laughs> so, Friday, May 11th. 2018. I usually like to record on a Wednesday because that's my mom's long day, so I have the whole house to myself and my cat who is sleeping on my printer at present. So, and unless mom has something to show, which currently no. She does not have anything to show. I'm poking at her about it. She should, but she hasn't started it yet. <laughs> but unless mom has something to show, she's probably not gonna, sh she's not probably not gonna poke her nose in. I'd like her to. I'm, I'm working on getting her to join me in this. At least be, at least be an occasional special guest. But nothing really has happened over the past couple of weeks. Not to me. Things have been happening like crazy with people around me. And I just, let me tell you, if I could hop a plane to Sweden right now, I would. Because my, my dearest soul sister needs a hug in the biggest way. She, she's had a rough week. She knows I love her, and that I wish her week was not so rough. But uh, nothing's happened to me. Thank you. Knock on wood. So, I've obviously gotten a lot of stitching done. <laughs> of course. I have two FFOs. Yeah. Two fully finished objects. First one... Wasn't even an, wasn't even an FO when you last saw me. And it's this. It's the hummingbird. It's the hummingbird. This is going to go to my granny for Mother's Day slash her birthday. Her birthday is on the 12th. And usually I make someone both a birthday gift and a Mother's Day or whatever gift 
when their birthday falls on a holiday. Uh, that would be a new... I don't really have time this time. I mean, I could, theoretically, drive myself completely insane tonight and sew a quick gift. I did that last year. I just about lost my mind. But I didn't have a tutorial to follow for making this little ornament. But I did use a couple of aspects from a tutorial by Vanna of the Twisted Stitcher. I used her suggestion of some white basic cotton fabric behind the, the finished piece so that it's so that the stitching stands out better. But other than that, I, I pretty much winged it. <laughs> I pretty much winged that thing. Uh, and then the other one, and you have seen this as a finished object. Let me try and... Okay, that's about as not glary as it's going to be. But this is from the Little, ha the Little House Needleworks Farm Fresh Cherries. It's the, it's the top panel, and I know it's, it's kind of wonky in the frame. It's a super El Cheapo Dollar Tree frame, and it has no, no room for, like, a mat board or anything like that. So I sewed fabric around the edges and didn't quite center it right. It will, in time, get a better frame. But for now, it's an FFO. This one is for my mom because of the old track. That right there. <laughs> so those are my FFOs. That's it. I, of course, do have whips. New month, new start. And I, I don't mean that as in every month I start something new, although I am doing the Clouds Factory mythological my, creatures of myth and legend, <laughs> Sal. So every month they release part of the pattern. And here we have it. I think I stitch these in like four or five days. They're, they're, each letter is a quick stitch. But we have B for Bigfoot. And look at him. And uh, Christy Rose, Bigfoot's body there. Like, not his arms and his head, but all the dark brown. That is done in Weeks Dye Works, Chris's Bonbon. So you can see the variegation there. It's a little subtle. And there is a DMC conversion to that. But it's just a solid brown, that. Let me see if I can... Do I have that anywhere on here? No, I do not. But DMC, you know, you stitch it, it's all a solid color. This is one length, this is length of thread, two strands, and stitched in Chris's bonbon, so one length of floss, and it gets all that amazing variegation in there. So that's that's the only difference, the only real difference that I've noticed in color 
between DMC and Weeks Dye Works. I've noticed a few differences in texture, but... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Since I do tend to, since I do dye things myself, not floss, I am not that brave yet. But since I do tend to dye things myself, a lot of fabric and whatnot, I do know that sometimes the dye makes what you're dyeing a little crunchy. So it may just be that. I don't know. But B is for Bigfoot and C is for Kurukira. Which, did anyone watch the Beastmaster TV show? Because in the Beastmaster TV show, there was this adorable little, little nature demon who they called Kurupira. So when I saw this, I was like, wait, that's a real thing? There's actually something called Kurupira? Apparently there is. <gasps> Shocker. But it's just this little red-headed booger. With vines growing up all around him. And it's cute. So I whipped those out for a couple of days. So it's now it's now hibernating until the start of June. Next up, I did get a little more of the border done for Beetlejuice. Top lace part. Beetlejuice is going in hibernation until I finish another project. Because too many projects on the go and I will lose my ever flipping mind. And no one needs that. And I've gotten a fair bit amount of work done on this lady. I have a goal. I want to finish her, not fully finish, but I want to finish her by the end of May. Have mercy on my poor twisted soul. But this is Peace Angel by Leslie Tear. I'm going to call it Tear until somebody corrects me. I'm going to call her last name is pronounce her last name is Tier until somebody corrects me. But the flowers and the little rope thingy are taking forever and a day. But that's okay. They're pretty to stitch. I've changed the colors of the butterflies. The butterflies in the pattern are purple. But because I made her wings purple, I'm making them sort of light tealy type blues. Same as I'm doing for these little flowers. This flower and uh, these flowers, which I'm gonna hold up closer so you can see they're white, are the color that's called for. Sort of. And the white flowers I'm gonna be back stitching in gold. So they stand out. But there she is. My goal is to have her done by the end of May. It's a goal. It's not a it's not a personal promise, it's just a goal. Because I do know that life will knock me on my butt if I say I'm going to do it. It's it's just a given. And David David's still hanging out on her, keeping her company. I've got some beads coming in to uh, take the place of the French knots. And then I started something new. Because of course I did. Uh, those of you who are in the Bewitch Stitches group, that is a group that, is, that was created and is modded by Jen of the Dark Side Stitcher and Amy of Amy Teville, whose false tubes I will Floss tube channels, I have a link in the description bar down below. Same as any patterns that I show, it'll all be in the down bar. This is their egg is being done for their Egg Grand Poe sal, which ends this month. So 
I, I has a goal to finish this by the end of the month. It's a Biscornu by Clouds Factory. Big shock, right? I kind of like the bis. I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of fond of the Clouds Factory Biscornu. But you have a little blackbird. Ravens have gray beaks or black beaks. You have a little, you have a little blackbird on a tombstone and a skull. That gorgeous motif in the center, viney things. Nevermore! And EAP himself. This is the front panel. I'm trying to find a button that will go in the center. Because... I need a, a nice raven button. Worst comes to worst, I'll make one. I have Palmer clay. I have like little button, cabochon buttons, like, you know, you put the thing in the button and then you cover it with resin or glue in a glass piece that I can print out a raven on it and do that. But I really kind of hope to find like a shaped bird. Shaped raven. I suppose I could have made the beak a dark gray. Like that dark gray, but I, I didn't think to do it as I was stitching. So Beaks orange. I will live with it. I don't mind it. I do know that there are blackbirds with with yellow beaks, so it's okay. Now that is my last whip. Uh, the brownies did visit. And the first brownie visited while I was hanging out on Etsy. Now, the brownie did not immediately toss this into my cart. What the brownie did was he, he said, you are going to have to buy that eventually and you know it. And I put it on my wish list. And then the brownie said, you know, you should show other people that because they'll really like it. And in the Bewitched Stitches group, they will really like it. And I went, you know, you're right. So I go to the Bewitched Stitches group and I share the link. Of course, being the Bewitched Stitches group, they exploded over this. And discussion of a sow started. And I was like, oh, that would make an excellent sow. I was like, Yes, it would. Oh. And I just kept getting tempted and tempted. But what kept me from buying it and deciding to start a sow myself was that I'm with the dark side stitcher. I don't want to run a sow of just one pattern because one pattern may not be to multiple people's tastes. You know? So, so I was just like, no, no, maybe it would be cool, but, mm. and then someone in the Bewitch Stitches group shared a, a sneak peek of Just Cross Stitches 2018 Halloween issue, and the, the cover of it, and right on there is this little witch silhouette with a spider web that she's playing like a harp, which is the cutest thing. I was like, you know, there are a lot of witch silhouette patterns out there. And the light bulb went off in my head and I thought about, oh, I could do a witch, witchy silhouette slash shadows sal. And that put paid to it. The brownie popped over to Etsy and put this in my cart. It is Midnight Brew by Autumn Lane Stitchery. 
As you can see, it has a witch with her bubbling cauldron at night. So, my intention is to run a cell for patterns that are witchy silhouettes like this, or say a witch playing with her shadow, or a witch doing things with shadows. I'm going to call it my witchy shadows cell. I am not sure if that has a hashtag yet. I will be checking that out on Instagram and Facebook tonight. I, I will be starting it July 13th. July, because that mean, that, that'll that be starting at a, a month after the Salem, Summer of Salem Sal over on Bewitched Stitches, it has started, so people will have gotten at least a good start on theirs, on their Summer of Salem deal, and they, they will have maybe a little more breathing room to play with this. I am going to be absolutely 100% cool with current whips if you've already, as long as they are not more than half done, if they are not more than a halfway stitched, you can add it in with the cell. I'm not starting this until July 13th, but that's because I also have a ton of other stuff I want to do, including what will be my Summer of Salem Stitch. So, starting July 13th, which is my birth, July is my birthday month, there will be a Witchy Shadows Sal. Find a pattern. Join me! Join me! So, that was the first thing the shop brownie came and said hello with. And because when you get a new pattern, you need fabric for it, yes, right? If you don't have a huge, humongous fi fabric stash, which I don't. I went back to Jackson Fabric Arts and I got this. I got some more of their hemp linen weave fabric. This is 30 count because there is no way I am stitching that thing on 54 count. But this is turquoise and God. Blues are my favorite shade in the rainbow. I love me some blue. So I saw this and I was like, oh, oh yeah, that's gonna look amazing. So I got that. That's what Midnight Brew is gonna be stitched on. Then Midnight Brew calls for black, of course. And it also calls for DMC Glow in the Dark. But then it calls for another specialty thread. So by wait, it's by Rainbow Gallery. And it's called Neon Race Plus NP303. And what it is, is it's glow in the dark chartreuse. It's for the cauldron bubbling and the owl eyes and the kitty eyes and the jack-o'-lanterns features. And uh, it's green and glow in the dark. Uh, yes, please. But I couldn't find any, I couldn't find it anywhere that I tend to hang. Um, not online, not in my LNS, which is across town from me and I generally, and I have to ha hop a bus ride to get there. Not to mention, going in there would be very dangerous for my wallet. So, 
I I put up in the Bewitched Stitches group. This has become my home on Facebook, people. If if you like spooky stitching and discussion of murderers, if you like Bloody Lizzie Borden, uh, like as as Jen's favorite lady is, and as she says, the world needs more Bloody Lizzie Bordens. So if you like things like that, things that are a little on the dark side, join Bewitched Stitches. It's an amazing group. The people are incredible and incredibly nice. So seriously, join the group. You have to answer three questions. They're simple questions to answer. If you don't answer them, your request will be denied. So when you go to join the Bewitched Stitches group, make sure you answer the questions. And definitely go join. But, oh no, I dropped it. But I posted in the group, do you know of any online shops that are trustworthy? Because I have been burned, people. That are trustworthy, that have this in stock, that carry this. And one person said, ABC Stitch has it. I went, oh, thank you. And I went over and yes, they do have it. And I absolutely would have gotten it from ABC Stitch. Despite the fact that getting anything from ABC Stitch, even just a one little Rainbow Gallery card of thread, is $7.50 shipping. That's more than I pay to ship things I make. And I make bags. What? I imagine there's I imagine there's solid business reasoning behind it, but I mean I'm used to one two three stitch where you pay three something shipping. So I totally would have bought it, but I would have also wound up buying other things because if I'm paying seven dollars shipping, I'm getting more than one little measly card of floss. But then someone else said, oh, my LNS carries it. I can call them, find out if they have that color, and I'll pick it up. You just send me the money for it. What? Oh my God, yes, please. I, I'm not going to tell you her name because I don't have permission to do that. But she did exactly that. And bending down to get it. And she picked it up at her LNS and sent it to me in like a regular letter sized envelope. And I got me the neon race. That's gonna look amazing. Let me tilt and shake. Ah, there we go. That's the color right there. I'm happy. And not only is it going to be glowy, but it's also got sparkle, which makes me a, a crazy happy, happy camper. I love me sparkle. So, a, a very kind, stitchy friend brownie got me that, got arranged for me to get that. And then I was watching Stitch All the Things as you do. Not her most recent episode, but the one before that. Her, her stitchy update before that. And she showed a pattern that she'd gotten. And it's like everything kind of screeched to a halt. You know, how they have in those, in those shows where everything's like going smooth and all of a sudden something happens and like the vinyl scratch and then everybody whips to look over at what that was kind of like that it was like crap I have to get that I have a mighty need and it was this 
Cozy Egg Designs, The Nocturne Collection, La Luna. People, it is a Luna moth. I'm a Cancer, Zodiac. The moon alone is often enough to get me to get a pattern or to fall in love with something. I love the moon, but I have a special fondness for Luna moths because number one, they're big and they're gorgeous. And number two, I found one on a roadside when I was a kid walking to school and it was laying its eggs, but its wing was damaged so it couldn't put its eggs somewhere safe. So with my mom, I scooped the moth off, off the road, I meant to say scooped it up, but I scooped the moth off the road and took it with me to my classroom where we all got the opportunity to learn about Luna moths and the teacher helped find the right plant to put the eggs on. And then after all the eggs were laid, we gave the moth a funeral. And I've loved Luna moths ever since. It's, they're so pretty. They're, they're more like a butterfly than they are a moth in my brain. So as soon as I was finished watching that episode, I went to Cozy Egg Designs website and I bought this. Oh yeah. I don't know when I'm going to stitch it. Because, yeah, I do kind of seriously want to stitch it with the called for th threads. I may wind up stitching it on that dark purple 54 count, but I still want to do it in the called for threads. Which, a lot of leaks, dye works, and a couple of gasps. Okay. I do like that it's on a box, but I don't know if I'm going to do it like that when I eventually stitch and finish it off. And then, this doesn't qualify as a brownie. Because this was, um, basically I want a giveaway. It looked like the recording hiccuped. I hope it didn't. I don't want to record this again because this is my third time giving it a giving it a shot. Things fell over. <laughs> but I was what but several a few nah, a significant number of episodes of reading and stitching ago, Vicky was giving away some patterns and this was one of them. You answered a question in the comments and you were entered. And you could have knocked my butt over with a feather when I got a message from her saying, hey, I drew your name for the pattern. So not too long. So last week, yeah, significant, more than a week ago, this came in the mail along with a very pretty card and this, which I am now using for my notes. But this is the pattern that came and it's Sea Star, a uh, teen stitch by Sophia, who is Sophia Cornali and uh, copyright is by people whose name I am not even going to attempt to pronounce because I will slaughter that but she's so pretty such a pretty mermaid when I do this I'll be changing her hair but come on she's got a blue tail 
blue tail, and she's got a little jellyfish friend. I used to draw cartoon jellyfish, and I'll actually, I will actually insert a picture at the end of this so you can see them, or see a couple pictures so you can see what I used to draw. I didn't draw them, like, by hand. I drew them on the computer screen, just because I enjoyed doing it. So, yay! It's pretty. And I'm looking at this fish. And I'm like, that would be an excellent, that would be an excellent thing to bead, put beads on. Same thing with the little pearls down at the bottom. I could totally completely bead those pearls and it'd be all shiny and pretty and okay, yes, I'm, I will be doing that. I will be blinging that up. <laughs> so for plans, I really don't, I have, of course, the Midnight Brew, which will be in July, but June has a plan. Yep, June has a plan. This, you remember my remember me pattern is what I will be stitching for the summer of Salem sap. Say that five times fast. Uh, I will be doing it on my favorite Carolina linen, which is, which will make it a little bigger than, I hope I didn't wind up flashing the pattern just there. But it will make it a little bigger than than this is than the the stitched model because the stitched model is done on 32 count fabric. But I'm okay with that because even though I really 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 love that frame, could I find that frame? No. And it's, it's not important enough to me to find that frame to actually make a phone call to the people who do the frame. Mm -mm. Phone, phone calls make me nervous. So, Couple of floss tubers, couple couple shout outs to floss tubers that I've been watching recently. New ones. Um, because I've I have already shouted out several floss tubers that I watch. Um, but the new ones that I've been watching are Kitten Stitcher, who is just bright and bubbly and pretty much a gorgeous ray of sunshine into the world. And Gulf Coast Stitcher, who her most recent one, she was talking about all the wildlife, the squirrels and the birds and the mice and the rats that hang out around her, her home. She lives on the water. I am so jealous. She lives in Florida like me, but she lives on the water. I've got a 30 minute trip to get to the water. Envy, but she's fun to watch. Too. She's fun to watch. So, and I know everybody and their mother has has already spoken of her and of Kitten Stitcher. I'm late to the bandwagon, but even but at least I'm on it now, right? I do not know if I will continue doing this or if it will be a regular thing, but there is something that I'm currently all into. I'm currently rereading all of my Psy Changeling books by Nalini Singh because in June she's got a new one coming out. I love this series with a passion. In fact, is it up there anywhere? Nope. Not getting up. Not getting up to get it, but it starts with Slave to Sensation. They are romance novels, people. 
sh- romance novels about shape shapeshifters and psychic people, and humans are in there too, of course, because you have to have humans and everything. It's required, right? And it's just... Her writing sucks me into this world and does not let me go. I love these books so, so much. I just... Whoa. Uh, I do not remember what year it was, but I first saw Slave to Sensation in Walmart's little paperback section, and it caught my attention because I like paranormal romance. It is my favorite genre of reading. That and anything J.D. Robb. So, Shapeshifters? Yes, please. I picked it up. I started reading it, and I was hooked. I was like, oh, I gotta get these. It was like, I have to get everyone that ever comes out. It's required. Mom and I went down to Chamblin. I completely ravaged their Nalini Singh section. And I have not missed a single book since. So I'm looking, I am currently on the most recent one that is currently out, Silver Silence. Oh my god, the Russian bear shifters. Ah, I love it. it. The best part of an Elini Singh book is not only does she have a talent for absolutely ripping your heart out and stomping on it before she picks it back up, dusts it off, stuffs it back into your chest and heals you over, with the ending of the book. She comes up with hilarious situations in the book and um, I always laugh during a Nalini Singh book. Always. Always. Because it's funny. So, and I am looking, and where she left off Silver Silence is a perfect setup for her next book. And I'm itching for it to come out. Ocean Light. I want to get my hands on it so bad because we, we finally get to see some more of the water, shit cha- water change lengths. Oh my god! So that's what I'm all into. And that will do it for this this episode of Floss 2. That's that's pretty much all that's been going on with me. So, thank you for spending this time with me. I hope thank you it, thank you to everyone who comments, who likes. Thank you into the stratosphere to everyone who subscribes and shares. I love every single, every single notification I get. Every single notification I get, I go, I actually make a little squee. So, thank you. I hope y'all have a wonderful week. And that life treats you kind. Take care, y'all. Bye.